Whenever I juice, I have people ask me what kind of juicer I use. I use a different one usually every time and I finally invested in a nice one. But before that, I wanna share with you guys three different ways that you can juice. You can juice using a blender. You don't need a fancy juicer to juice. You can add whatever fruits and vegetables that you want to a blender. Instead of just juicing the fruits and vegetables, especially if they're not watery, you wanna take a little bit of water and add that to the blender so that way it mixes better. Make sure you open that blender and push down all the fruit or vegetable that is stuck on the side so that way the blender can chop everything up. Again, there's several different ways to strain. For a blender method, I usually use a cheesecloth and I got a really large piece from Walmart and I just cut it down into pieces. You wanna put this into a larger container, pour all of your mixture in there, and then you're basically gonna squeeze the juice out. I'm gonna show you guys the different amount of juice that you get from each method, so make sure you stay until the end. Next up is the Breville Juice Fountain. This is the juicer that I've been using for the last few years, and honestly, the only type of juicer that I've ever used before I got my new one that I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. This is a sturdy, trusted juicer. It can get really messy sometimes uh, when you're juicing. You'll have juice come out of the seams or where the parts connect and usually line that gray part to the left with a bag to help with cleanup, but it's still a lot of parts and pieces to clean and to wash. For all of these methods, I'm using two apples, same size, and it's important to pay attention to the sound. <laughs> For me, noise level is important. I don't normally live by myself, so if I want to juice late at night, it's important to me to make sure that it's quiet and not so loud, and this one's pretty loud. For this method, I just use a strainer, and you can also use a cheesecloth for this as you want, but you'll definitely want to strain your juices before you drink them so that you can get rid of some of that pulp. I also wanted to mention that with this, there's a lot of times these large pieces of fruit and vegetables that didn't get chopped up like this apple. All right, you guys, let's get into my new juicer. So I'm really excited to share this because for almost a year, I have been reaching out to this company to try to work out an affiliate program or something because people always ask me where I get my juicer or what juicer am I using. And because I don't make a lot of money off of my content, I figured it would be great to join partnership with a juice company since I'm juicing a lot. However, the juicer that I had been looking at was close to $600. It starts with the letter N and that's all I'll say but I never ended up hearing back from the company. They said they would get back to me, I never heard back, and I'm actually happy that I didn't hear back from them because I realized that if that doesn't fit my budget, then that probably doesn't fit my audience's budget either. Their budget probably doesn't allow for a 500 and something dollar investment for a juicer. So I did my research, I read a lot of reviews, my friend actually had one of those juicers that I had been wanting, and I got a chance to try it. And based on the reviews, this one was comparable and I realized that it did the same thing. So I'll share the link on my website 
in my YouTube video as well as on my Instagram story. I wanted to do an honest review of a juicer and share with you guys what I learned. So watch me as I juice with this new juicer. One of the first things I noticed is how dry this pulp is. So this does this on that other expensive juicer as well, but look at how awesome this is because I really feel like I'm not wasting any of this produce. This is a comparison of all three juices and the one to the right, I don't even know why it's a different color, but I'm with it. Personally, I feel like I didn't have to strain any of this juice from the juicer to the jar. So for me, that was a bonus because that's one less step that I have to do. And cleanup was a breeze. There's only about three parts to clean up and it was super easy and I love my new juicer. <laughs> 